the homeless crisis, the Olympics, the budget deficit, and more. Well, tonight, LA Mayor Karen Bass delivered her second State of the City address. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez live in downtown LA outside City Hall with the highlights. Lori. Juan and Pat, the mayor, delivered that speech here on the third floor of City Hall. A rabbi who prayed before the mayor said L.A. is, and I'm paraphrasing, a beautiful city that is simultaneously troubled. And that's a sentiment the mayor repeated as she reflected on how far the city has come, but also how far it has to go. In Los Angeles, we have a long way to go. But let me say here, right at the beginning, the state of our city is stronger today because we have made change and we have disrupted the status quo. Mayor Karen Bass tried to strike a balance of optimism and realism in her second State of the City address. In just days, she'll release her budget proposal for the upcoming year as the city is facing a massive budget deficit. Bass said she'll protect the goal of hiring LAPD officers and keeping public safety a priority. Supporting our sworn personnel is deeply important to me, and the status quo can simply not protect Angelinos, so we're acting to change it. And my budget for next year maintains our LAPD staffing goals. Bass touted her Inside Safe program, which she says has saved lives, asking previously homeless residents and those who assist them to stand in the council chambers. But for all its success, she is now asking the public to make donations and help L.A. buy or lease buildings that can be used to move people off the streets, saying we will not hide people, we will house them. Now we are asking the most fortunate Angelinos to participate in this effort with personal, private sector and philanthropic funds to help us acquire more properties, lower the cost of capital, and speed up housing. The mayor talked about the impact beyond the human toll of leaving people on the streets. The cost to shops and restaurants whose customers stay away out of fear. The cost when tourists don't come to visit. The cost when offices and their employees leave downtown. In Bass's first year, she negotiated a salary agreement for LAPD, and soon the city council will vote on raises for civilian city workers. To free up money, Bass says they'll get rid of hundreds of vacant city jobs. If we want to house people, if we want to keep our city safe, if we want to fix our streets, we must pay our workers fairly. Bass says L.A. will be ready for the Olympics in 2028 and the World Cup, but she and council members agree there are brutal choices ahead to get there. Looking at a, a deficit that could be seven, eight hundred million dollars, that is a that is a large deficit. Uh, I've dealt with big deficits before, both here in the city level and, and when I was the chair of the state budget committee. So I know we can we can handle it, uh, but it does mean tough choices. Hopefully we can do this collectively with a surgical knife. We can protect the most vulnerable, which to me is very important. Uh, and uh, we can do so in a manner that's equitable across the city. We need to fun focus on the core services of, the, of this city, maintaining our city's infrastructure, and ensuring that we keep people safe. The mayor also announced the creation of a new climate cabinet, she said, to continue the city's leadership on climate change. We are live outside City Hall. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you.